Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan is dismissing as political mischief the opposition's concerns surrounding the securing of the Jean de Vallette ferry. And as it relates to one of the directors of Virtue Ferries, the company providing the vessels, being the center of a bribery scandal, Minister Sinanan and by extension NITCO say they do not see it as a hindrance to the deal. Janine Brown has more. Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan is standing behind the procurement process employed to secure the Jean de la Vallette ferry and rejects the opposition's criticism that the deal is shrouded in secrecy. Some of the political commentators were saying a secret deal. They never heard anything about it. You carry that in your newspaper. But in your said newspaper, this process was advertised. One detail that has raised the eyebrows of opposition is the controversy surrounding Francis Portelli, the director of the company earmarked to provide the new ferry. Minister Sinanan maintains the fact that Mr. Portelli is currently before the courts in Malta on bribery and money laundering charges holds no bearing on the contract with Virtue Ferries, given Mr. Portelli has not been convicted of the crime. We cannot just take decisions on how it will look. Right here in this country, we have people in front of the courts for, with similar allegations who have been getting hundreds of millions of dollars in contract from the state. From 2010 till now. Expressing same as president of the National Infrastructure Development Company, Esther Farmer. Of the five vessels offered, she says the Malta ferry was the newest at 10 years old. She also dismisses critics who say Nitko failed to do due diligence in inspecting the boat. Here we have a qualified um, agency that gives us a class. In order to operate in Trinidad to be a great, a boat has to be class certified, and we have that. Minister Sinanan says he remains hopeful that the deal will be completed, as he says that the TNT Spirit is expected to go on dry dock in the coming weeks, and there needs to be a vessel available to fill the gap. The plan is to have the vessel leased for one year, with an option to renew for six months thereafter. Janine Brown, TTT News. Two bids have been made for the purchase of the TNT Express. This from Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan, who gave an update on the sale of the boat during a press conference today. They are about to formally send those bids to the ministry, then it will go to cabinet and a decision will then be taken as to the way forward with that. But definitely the TNT Express will not be coming back in service in Trinidad and Tobago. The vessel was pulled from service in July of last year. The TNT Express has serviced the inter-island seabridge for almost 13 years. It was purchased back in 2006 at a cost of 20 million U.S. dollars.